Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to raise the TDP on your AMD APU laptop. There's a lot of utilities that exist out there that are designed to let you raise the TDP of AMD APUs, but not all of them seem to work too well. And the best one that I have found is the AMD APU tuning utility. It really is just the easiest way to do this and it's going to give you the least amount of headaches. So let's jump right into it. So after you download the utility from the link down below, you're going to be greeted with this folder right here. Here and you can see the exe that you need to run so you right click that and you run it as administrator once it loads you're going to see it pop up and you're going to be greeted with this screen right here so what you're going to want to do is go down to the pre-made presets because you can adjust the settings from here in fact there's a lot of options within this really unless you know what you're doing i would recommend sticking with the pre-made presets i feel like for the vast majority of people they're going to find the presets to be more than enough you don't really need anything more so this is being tested on a ryzen 5 2500u so this is a first generation apu now it actually does not overclock well here but that has to do with the specific laptop that i'm in but to load its preset i pretty much just click here you know you click the specific APU that you have and then you hit apply you can see here what it's actually loading in and it boosts the TDP to 25 watts a few things to note: once you apply these settings I don't really know any way of setting them off besides restarting the computer and uh, besides that you can load in the pre-made presets into the customizer and customize them there yourself if you know what you're doing but again, I would re recommend sticking with the presets until you figure out what you're doing here because you can do some damage to your laptop. That is very important. Just because you can set these things does not mean that your laptop will actually be able to run at these settings. For example, the laptop that I'm running this on, it defaults to 10 watts. If I raise it all the way up to 25 watts, what actually ends up happening is that we hit a thermal throttle level because the laptop itself cannot handle that much heat. So what actually happens is that the performance regresses so badly that it actually performs worse. So a lot of this is really going to depend on the cooling capacity of the APU or rather the laptop that you are using this with. That being said though, I have yet to find any 5000 series laptop that did not at least let you set like a 5500U. 225 watts it's really i've only encountered issues with these older apus just because you know they tend to use more power per core and they tend to be kind of just buggier in general but any newer ryzen apu should work fine on here but again war fair warning you can damage your laptop using this so i would recommend at most using the presets for the most part they're set in a way where you won't really be able to do too much damage to your system but you are going to notice a pretty decent performance uplift you can get up to 40 percent more fps by doing this so it can really be the saving grace for a lot of laptops out there that are just bordering on being able to be played 